kind of hard to uh, take the first time. You have to go there about two or three times before you can fall in love with her. <laughs> but uh, that happens eventually. We stayed at the uh, Times Square Hotel on 42nd Street. Well, the title of the hotel and everything, it sounded like it was conveniently located in midtown right. Manhattan. Right. Right. You know, I mean, what did we know? You know, we came out of the hotel after checking in, think, oh, it's great to be back in uh, New York, movie theaters forever. All these friendly women walking up and down the streets. Yeah. It was, uh, it was great. Yeah, New York, New York. Was, uh, was an adult portion. You know, that was an adult dose. <laughs> So it uh, took a couple of trips, you know, to, to get into it. You just go in the first time and you get your ass kicked and you take off. And as soon as it heals up, you come back <laughs> and uh, you try it again. And eventually, you fall right in love with it. Roulette Records was located in uh, the middle of this mythical place, Tin Pan Alley, the songwriting capital of the world. And we met some of the greatest songwriters ever, Absolutely. rock and roll songwriters. Yeah. Doc Palmas, uh, Mark Schumann, Lieber and Stoller. They were all there then. Carol King, Neil Diamond at the time. You know, it wasn't a very fair thing. The songwriter was the low man on the totem pole. But then uh, these people, and here come the 60s with change and revolution and war and assassinations and a whole other frame of mind coming along. And these songwriters were expressing the feelings of people, people in the street. In a way, it was kind of uh, the beginning of the end of Tin Pan Alley. <laughs>